Hi, I'm Ed Dominguez. Welcome to Lake Washington and Puget Sound. And I'd like you to meet the gadwall. What's a gadwall? The gadwall is one of our most widespread North American ducks. We have a male on the left and a female on the right. Oh, you can see that he's getting ready to go out on the town. I say that because I call the male gadwall the well-dressed duck. It looks like he's wearing a fine sport jacket with black tails and white bars on his wings, like he's going out for a night on the town. Gadwalls are very similar in shape and size to the American mallard, which we all know, the duck with the green head. And in fact, they're in the same genus, Anus, as the mallards. So you might say that they're cousins. They're found all over North America, but they're residents here in the Pacific Northwest year-round. Now to recognize a gadwall, let's talk about ducks in general. There are two major groups of ducks. Dabbling ducks, like the gadwall, and diving ducks. With diving ducks, now you see them, now you don't. They're on the water one minute and they dive down to get their food underwater, fish, water plants. Whereas dabblers, like the gadwall, have a different strategy. They stay closer into shore and they tip bottoms up. With their tail in their air, they use their beak to muck around on the lake bottom and stir up dirt and get food off of the bottom. Now dabbling might sound pretty crude and unsophisticated. I mean, if you're dabbling your bill around on a lake bottom, you're gonna get a lot of mud and rocks. Blah. But dabbling is much more sophisticated than it looks at first glance. When these birds are on the bottom, they have thousands of minute receptor cells on the insides of their bill called Herbst corpuscles and Grandry corpuscles, named after the scientists that discovered them. Herbst corpuscles are sensitive to touch and Grandry corpuscles are sensitive to movement. So rather than just sucking up mud and rocks, these corpuscles allow the gadwall with great ability to strain out water plants, fish, crustaceans, mollusks, invertebrates, all foods that are good for them, and then they spit out any mud, silt, dirt, or rock material. Like mallards, gadwalls are very adept on land and aren't confined to lakes or rivers. As you can see, we have several here that have come up 30, 40 feet from the lake and are feeding on invertebrates and earthworms that are in the grasses. You can see the male on the left with his beautiful suit, sport jacket of tan and brown and gray with the white patches on his wings, and then the female in front of the male with her camouflaged kind of brown and tan speckling, very much like a mallet. Now, although they're on land now, gadwalls are specialists at making a living in the water. And in fact, this duck is sometimes known as the pirate of the lakes or a river pirate. Why? Because it'll swim further away from shore than mallards will. And if it sees a diving bird, say an American coot, go down and get a fish, the gadwall comes close by. And as soon as the coot pops up, like a pirate, the gadwall snatches the fish from the coot and makes it his own. I guess he figures if you can steal a meal from somebody else, it's easier than finding one on your own. Like its cousin, the American mallard that we see here, gadwalls lay their eggs in the spring, anywhere from seven to 12 eggs. They hatch in 24 days. And as it's May Day here today, many of the first clutches of young are out. Look at these baby mallard ducklings. What's cuter than a baby duck? But unlike mallards, gadwalls only lay one clutch a year, and then they're done. So, dabbling ducks, gadwalls, and mallards. North American natives that delight us year-round. Thanks for tuning in today, and remember, go outdoors.